Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Security Guard Command. Thank you for tuning in. Really appreciate you guys. I just want to uh, build up the security community here by making these videos. And today I wanted to uh, uh, talk about something that you hear every once in a while, uh, usually on social media, and that is a question. If you could go back in time and give yourself some advice, what would it be? time and uh, give your younger self some advice what would that advice be and I'm gonna tell you what uh, what I would tell myself I I really really regret not advancing myself in the security industry sooner I am uh, working on a few things right now and I really really regret not moving up I've been I've been in security for about 16 years now and and I've held, I've done other jobs as well. I've I've constantly maintained security. Um, however, I've worked many other jobs. I've worked in, in corporations. I was a manager of a call center uh, for customer service. I've uh, done man I was a manager of a restaurant. I've done uh, technical jobs. I was a field technician for a company called Shot Spotter, where I worked on gunshot detection systems at various cities for the police departments. You know, I've done a, a number of things, but I always fall back to security, and I think security is really my passion, and that's really what I want to do. And you know, I'm not—I'm just getting older, guys. I, I, every for every day that goes by, I'm just getting older and older, and I just—I uh, just wish that I had advanced myself a, a lot sooner. Uh, I should—I should have already had my security company at this point after being in security this long, and. With that being said, one of the things that I could have done is gotten my qualified manager's license years ago. And if I had done that, I would be making um, more than I do now. And I would have a lot more options open to me. And, you know, guys, I want to really encourage you that if you're, if you're a couple years into security, really start thinking hard about you know, advancing yourself. Get your qualified manager's license if you're in California. Um, I'm not sure about other states and what they have, but in California, qualified manager's license is um, is basically something that enables you to work for a security company and uh, manage the company, make sure that the company is in compliance, etc. And um, you know, it in California. A private security company is required to have a qualified manager, so it's almost job it's job security. You're, you're guaranteed to find a job somewhere because they have to have one on uh, a qualified manager on file, and it has to be a current qualified manager. Now, guys, it's it's not it's a, it's a little bit of an investment. There is some funds uh, uh, involved here that you have to pay to get this. You have to do the life scan all over again. You have to take a test. You you know, and th th this test. Is not cheap. It's uh, roughly around five hundred dollars plus your life scan fees. You're looking at another hundred, hundred fifty. Um, you know, you got a couple things involved here. But in my opinion, it is absolutely worth it to get your qualified manager's license, and in California. And um, one of the things that I just recently completed was the forty-hour course that is uh, is presented by Sean over at the Security and Investigations Leadership Channel. And guys, let me tell you right now, this course is not easy. This course has a lot of information, a lot of valuable information. And not only does it have a lot of valuable information, but it also includes a ton of pre-written documents that you can use as templates for your job as a qualified manager or to, to run a PPO. And um, these documents are included in the course. And these documents have been uh, vetted by an attorney. 
Of course, you always want to have, once you modify the document, you always want to have the, another attorney just review the documents. But the majority of the work was done by Mr. Sean. And so the value of this course is absolutely worth it. There is no question whatsoever that this is definitely uh, worth the money. It, it's going gonna, it's gonna to cost you extra, but... You know, guys, this 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 qualified manager exam is not cheap, and you don't want to bomb on this test. You don't want to fail in this test. Um, you want to pass it the first time around. And I firmly believe that if you put effort into this course that Sean has created, that uh, you should have no problems passing the qualified manager exam. So uh, I'm going to provide a link down in the description to the course. You guys can review it, and uh, you know, I, if you're in California. I highly recommend that you sign up for this course, put out the money for this course, finish the course, and then turn around and, and take your qualified manager's license exam and get your qualified manager's license so that you can move up in the security industry and really affect change and difference. Guys, improve yourselves. Move forward. Don't stay stagnant in the security industry. Move up. Uh, that's my word for today, guys. Stay safe. Hope you have a great day. I will catch you later.